All right, so since we did the front emblems and the back emblems already, uh, let's go ahead and try a different method on the side emblems. So we have this hybrid emblem here and this all-wheel drive emblem down here. And this technique, I'm actually going to use some hyper dip right here. Uh, this is this color is shadow black. Uh, hyper dip uh, is a stronger and thinner uh, formula compared to um, the the other version that they sell. So I want to try this out. And from the directions and the YouTube videos that I've seen, um, the application is pretty straightforward. Uh, three light coatings on the first pass. Let it dry five minutes in between. And then when you start to go on thicker, then um, you'll go ahead and let those dry between 20, 25 minutes in between. And um, this should last for years to come. Uh, it is peelable. So if you don't like uh, that look anymore, it starts to peel off over time. You can just peel the whole thing off and then bring it back to its uh, original chrome. So let's go ahead, give this a try and see what it looks like at the end here. So this makes your prepping is key. So got one of these tools right here to be able to get into all of the, uh, the corners right here to get all of the grease, oil, and dirt out. If you don't do this step in the pre in the prep work, then the hyper dip is not going to stick um, right here as well. So use this and just clean it real good. Just put like a piece of tissue here microfiber towel clean it off real good as you can tell mine is super shiny now so let's go ahead and give this a try so if this is the first time using you want to make sure you give this thing a shake there's a ball inside so you want to shake it for a good minute until after a minute then you can go ahead and give it uh, its first spray so again uh, instructions say first spray is a light coat light coat not thick or wet let's go ahead and give it a try <clears throat> all right y'all this is um, what it looks like after um, two light coats. But I, I think I messed it up. I think what I did that first go round is I sprayed it too close and I needed to be a little bit farther back. Because if you can tell, right at the bottom here, uh, you have some blotchiness right there from where um, the hyper di uh, dip uh, was pooling. And so I think what I have to do is just let this completely dry for 20, 25 minutes, peel the whole thing off and, and just start over again. Oh, so my first time trying this out. So, you know, you live and learn, right? Let's try it again. All right, so I peeled off uh, the first coat and I just gave it a spray for um, the second try around. Looking much better now. No blotchiness here. So far so good. I think uh, after five minutes I'm gonna apply a uh, thicker uh, wet coat here. All right. All right, so after the uh, two thin coats are laid down, now we'll go ahead and apply six to eight thick wet coats and let them um, dry 20 minutes in between and they'll just get thicker and thicker over time here.
see y'all back in 20 minutes and just repeat this process. And I'm just going to fast forward to the peeling part. All right, so after two quick coats and six thick wet coats, this is what it looks like right now. Um, I also uh, did this to the all-wheel drive emblem at the bottom. Um, learn from my mistake. Make sure that you do uh, tape off the area because if you don't, like I did on the bottom, it leaves a lot of particles and residue that uh, just takes up more time to have to wash off. So definitely tape off the area. The reason for this is when you tape it off, it leaves a thick layer around here that makes it easier to just peel off in one one film as opposed to having to rub off um, uh, you know some of the uh, the particles that that uh, build up around uh, around your area so here we are let me go ahead and just take this off And here, this is my first time using Hyperdip, and installation is pretty, pretty straightforward. I think um, all together it took me about three hours because I waited five minutes for in between the two thin coats, and then 15 minutes in between each of the thick coats, and I put in six coats total to get this all right now I'll say the cheapest method hyperdip but you gotta have some skill or or know-how be mechanically inclined to do this process here. Otherwise, you pay a little bit extra for the overlays just to slap them on, right? I mean, you can just slap them on in like a few minutes, but this process does take some work. And for me, it's actually fun. Now, here's where I'm at. This is what it looks like. I think that looks pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, this is, uh, again, shadow black. Um, I got shadow black compared to say piano black which also looks nice because y'all know my front uh, emblem Toyota badge um, I got that uh, switched out to the uh, vinyl matte vin um, overlay so this here has a more satin matte look as well so that's what I went with now here's the cool thing I'm hoping this works this hybrid emblem this part right here is blue so I'm gonna try to peel this off to see if I can reveal the blue and only the blue part without having to peel off any of the other chrome part. If this works, then all this work was definitely worth it, my friends. Oh yeah. 
perfect. Let me zoom in here for you. Tell me that does not look good. Let me zoom out for you here as well. see all this excess spray right here that's the the reason why you want to tape it off so that way you have minimal cleaning to do my first pass I didn't do that and so there was spray everywhere I had to wipe it all off and that took me a good 25 minutes to do that before I came to my senses and put on this layer here You want to get that solid, thick film right here. Makes it a lot easier to remove. All right, got that off. Repeat the process and just peel away. And everything should just Peel off nice and clean. All right, so let me show you the final product here. Again, you have the matte black front Toyota emblem. And then here's what it looks like, the Hyper Dip. Satin black. The color is shadow black specifically. And you can see the blue there that I was able to peel off separately came off perfectly with the matching all-wheel drive and I did mess up right at the top here you can see some of that silver exposed but oh well live and learn we go to the back here this right here is the black overlay from Cartrim home So that's what it looks like, y'all. This was a fun project. This gives you an idea. Um, if you want to use a hyper dip, it's actually the cheapest method. You just buy the spray bottle, a spray can, and then just make sure you tape off properly. Um, reserve yourself three hours for this project. Uh, and you'll be going because it gives you a lot more. I, I think it looks better, right? It looks better than the overlays. And you have the opportunity to reveal that blue if you want to. But if you don't want to spend the time and some of the extra labor to do this, then you can definitely just get the overlay. But just know that with the overlay, you don't have the opportunity to peel this blue and reveal it and it looks all blocky all across like that all right y'all thanks for hanging with me for this video like and subscribe take care everyone peace